And welcome back to episode eight of our Wilson Sports Network. We are done with girls soccer. We're on to boys soccer. We have Quinn Reese, captain, senior, and striker for the Wilson Varsity Boys Soccer Team. Quinn, how are we doing today? Great. Doing great. Thank you so much. Now, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, what, what have you seen from your team so far? Had a few games, few scrimmages, beginning of the season. What have you seen from your team so far? So the team's really young. Uh, so they get really nervous when they play a game, but we're starting to settle in more, starting to gel as a team. We're going to make some good soccer happen, hopefully today in our next game. Uh, who, do you, who do you play today? We play MST Prep. What, have, what do you know about them? Obviously, they're a non-league game. What are you looking to get out of this non-league game? I'm just hoping to see the team be able to flow together because our problem is connecting into that third, so hopefully we can figure that out. Now, you're the striker. Your job is to put the ball in the back of the net. That's one. That's probably your only job as striker. You know, we got the people on defense. I've heard you guys have a pretty good defense back there. A little younger, but still pretty good. But your job as a senior, put that ball in the back of the net. Is there a lot of pressure in that? And how do you go about doing that? Really trusting your teammates, a lot of your skill, maybe your shot. What are you really trusting for you to put that ball back there? So I think the person who puts more pressure on me than anyone else is myself. Because... I haven't scored yet this season, but my coach keeps telling me I'm doing everything else. I've bagged a couple of assists. We've only scored off of my assists, so hopefully we can keep scoring. I can keep assisting. Now, who do you think is going to have to put the ball in the back of the net besides, besides you? Is there going to be other people? Maybe Joey Moo, Cloy, who else do you think? Yeah, so Joey Moo is the other striker with me, and then Owen is the cam. So those are going to be the other two people who get into the most positions to be able to score. So. Probably those two, and maybe even an outside midfielder like Jake Darlack or Noah Curio. Now, how does Mr. Hart do it? He does a stopper sweeper on defense? Yeah, so he does stopper sweeper on defense, but it's a standard 4 4 2. So we've got two wide mids, two central mids, and then two strikers. And who's the other striker with you? Joy Moon. Joy Moon. Now, here's a question for you. Um, how, what have you seen from Jacob Hacko? He's uh, filling in for Ralph Rizzani, who was a great goalie for you guys last year. How was he doing? Did Ralph, do you think, maybe gave him a lot of advice, a good mentor for him? And how has he stepped up into that starting goalie role? All right, so Ralph was player of the year last year for our league, so obviously that's a big hole to fill, but Hacko has done very well. I think he's taken a little bit from Ralph, and uh, he just needs to speak up more, but He's come up with some great saves that have won us the game against Akron and have stopped a lot of other shots from going in as well. So he's stepped up nicely. Now you, Marcus Schwartzmuller, and Michael Sider are the captains, correct? Yes. How do you guys want to be captains? Do you guys want to be really more, because you guys have a younger team, you guys have to really lead, uh, whether that's by example or voice. How do you guys take that and really, and really run with being the captain? Okay, so Mike Sider is kind of the quiet captain. He doesn't speak often, but when he does speak, people tend to listen. Marcus is the nice captain, so people always listen to him, and I'm kind of the mean one. You know, uh, when people are doing stuff wrong or they're messing around the whole time, I gotta be the one that like says, hey, you know, cut it out, let's get to work, and people don't really like me for that, but someone has to do it, so. What is Mr. Hart like as a coach? Is he, I know he's big on conditioning, I know he has the one week in, in training camp, we'll leave that word out though, but uh, what is he like as a, uh, as a coach? So he's, he's great as a coach, he's really good at, um, really good at managing a, like a single person. He can help with everyone and bring out the best in the player, but also he's focusing a lot on possession and keeping the ball, which is vital in any game of soccer. Now, last one here, obviously, like you said, young team. Uh, who do you, what team in the league is gonna be um, really giving you the most trouble, do you think? Uh, I'm not very sure. I know Roy Hart beat us three nothing, but we weren't playing our brand of soccer. So if I had to guess, probably be Albion. Okay. I'm not sure. They have a defender out, but they were a very strong team last year. So with Royer and Albion being really tough competition, what are your goals and expectations this year for the team, whether that's to win league, beat those teams, or go far in the sectionals? What for you would be a really good goal, a manageable goal, and still be great if you could accomplish that this year? So I'm not sure what everyone else's goals are, but I know mine is I want to win as much as I can. You know, I, it's my last year here. I'm going to try to do my best for the team. To help win, winning league would be great, but it might not be realistic. But I think we possibly could do it if we could get our acting gear. And I think at this point, sectionals is that big goal that everyone wants to see because we won league last year. So we want to see how far we can go into that now. All right, perfect, Quinn. Thank you so much for joining us here. And that'll do it for episode eight for our Wilson Sports Network. Stay tuned for episode nine. We have interviews with volleyball coaches Amy Seeley and Coach Stewart. So it should be a lot of fun. So long, everybody.